If you saw the last video, it started, but it died. So in this video, we're gonna pull the throttle body, clean it up, and stick it back on. All right, so I've got this little air duct up here. We've got this air duct running from the air box down to the throttle body. We've got two screws on that. That'll pop off. Then we have all the connectors on the throttle body, all those plugs. You can pull all those. There is the injector there. And that one down there. Over here we have this cover to pull off. Then we can pull that 10 millimeter nut on that and that will pull off. Then we'll just take the throttle cable off so you'll have to push this and get the tension off of it so you can wiggle that wire off of there. Get that connection loosened up. Then we just undo the nut there on the intake boot going to the engine. Once we get that loosened up, then we can pull the throttle body off itself. That hole comes off as a unit. We also have the fuel line up here. You're going to want to pop that off. And then we can take that whole throttle body off as one piece. Alright, so I've got some throttle body cleaner here. We're just going to spray that through. can stick this back on. Same process, we just slip it on there to the throttle body boot, reconnect up our fuel line, our throttle cable, plug in all our plugs again. Now anytime you undo the plugs on a throttle body, you'll have to resync the EFI system on the ATV. Be sure to check out this video up here on how to do that. Alright, we got the throttle body installed. Everything is hooked back up. If you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I think I'm going to have to get to adjusting the idle and stuff later on. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.